Big day, sunny. Weather's good, paddock's dry. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. I'm gonna try and install this line. I've got my tool. Yeah. Stand clear for throw line. Um, did you mix the fuel? No, I've put five liters in. I'm gonna mix it up right. Yeah, I got a line yeah. there set. <coughs> I've got this stuck, eh? Can I get a carabiner too, noodles? Carabiner. Hey, morning guys. Nick here for Inspiration Trees. We're out here in the back of Kyogle today on Summerland Way. We've got um, these two big red gums that have died. Um, causes unknown. Um, regardless what we've got, we've got some um, low voltage mains and um, they're hanging out the top of them and they're causing a few issues with dead limbs dropping off and we've got some concerns that they might fall onto the lines. So, our objective today is to remove these trees safely, um, get them on the ground so they don't pose a risk to the electricity supply network. Um, so we've got the Husqvarna 3120XP. It's like the biggest Husqvarna in the world with a six foot titanium Australian made bar, which is um, well, that's pretty good. It's bloody heavy though. And um, because it's so big, we just got to put in like I got it now. Five to one, two straight mix. It took about bloody six months to get it. Hey, it's two big, two big red gums. Um, obviously they're dead. Root plates around them look really solid. Um, I haven't seen any wildlife in the trees. They seem to be vacant of any, or any nesting boxes or anything like that. So we're right to go on that aspect. Um, obviously, just be super cautious when you're walking underneath it or around it, that it, it will drop branches. Um, when we're cutting, we'll get someone to be a spotter to obviously yeah. maintain that, that, that cutter's safety. <coughs> Fence here is taken down so that we've got clear access. When the tree's on the ground, we'll pack the ropes up. We'll come and just move those logs, put the fence back up. It's just gonna stay in the paddocks. So anywhere in the paddocks, fine. We'll, we'll leave it for firewood for the owner. Um, we want two 20 mil ropes in it. We'll have one as an anchor in the ute. Yep. And then one pulling with the, with the, the escalator. Yeah. 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 And then obviously cut so a spotter. Tension guy line. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Definitely two two big ropes. We'll um, just have to give it a good test pull without you under it because if we shake it and something snaps, it's going to fall on your head. 100%. Yeah. 100%. So, so just to clarify, I'm going to put a scarf in. It's going to take me a little bit. Oh, yeah. Then I'm going to turn my saw off. I'll communicate with you guys through our communicators that we're going to do a back cut. I'll start my back cut. I'll, I'll get. I'll give you guys updates of where I'm at with it, and tell you if I need to adjust the ropes or if we need to stop and reassess or whatnot. Yep. Um, once you've got tension on that, you will get you back over here to observe. Make yeah. sure there's no deadwood falling on me. Um, turn the saw off. I'll get out of the way to a safe spot, and then we'll get you to pull Nathan. Is there any questions? Um, I'm just thinking we should move these saws out while we tension up the ropes. Hey, that ropes on that. Yeah, sure. And then it's flung. We'll take them back that way. Yeah. Cool. Well, if you want to go get that rope set up, Nathan and Kash, if you want to get that your ute and this um, yeah. other rope set up, you'll have to run that first because the chain might come a bit loose. Sure. And then we'll have to readjust it. Sure. I'll sort that out if you yeah. sort the ropes out. Here, take this string line, put it in the ute, Kash. Oh, yeah. Like that Kasha. Sorry mate, had the earmuff off. Oh, I got ya. Yeah, you got my, sweet, my hat's on your aerial Kash. Oh, I, can't, I couldn't pick it up, bro. Yep, copy.
<laughs> yes, I've lost the plot. I've never really had it, but I'll show you what does it to you. The new mic for yours should be a fucking. Oh, well, actually, this is yours. Well, actually, I think this is the original one. This is mine. I think that new one is yours anyway. I don't know. So we got Nathan over here, he's, he's putting in a, a dead eye sling and a large DMM pulley. What we're gonna do is we've got a, a tension sideline in this tree and we'll put it through that pulley and we'll run it down to another vehicle down there to keep a bit of side pressure on the tree and then we'll have a pull rope to the excavator and the paddock then. All the tension side rope does is when the tree's falling, if for whatever reason something went wrong with our pull rope, it's going to stop that tree falling towards the power lines. So that's what we're doing, what we're doing. 